Hey guys, welcome back to Skin Basics. I'm Jalik and in today's episode of Sunscreen Sunday, I'll be reviewing the Banana Boat Ultra Protect Faces SPF 50. If this sounds interesting to you, give this video a like and let's go ahead and hop right into it. Oh my god, you guys, I am so happy I was able to get my hands on this kit from Sephora Favorites. What is it called? Safety Sun Kit. I believe they come out with this every year, but this year's version is amazing. It's got around 10 different uh, sunscreens and two of them are full size. So I really wanted to get my hands on it. And every time I was checking the website, it was showing me that it's out of stock. But then I would read comments that people were able to get their hands on it, but it was in stock for only a couple of minutes. And I, even though I signed up for the reminder, I never got the email that it's back in stock. So I was checking it on the website every single hour. And I finally, just before this video, I found that it's in stock and I managed to get my hands on it. So super excited. Anyway, enough of me rambling. Today's video is going to be a review of the Banana Boat Ultra Protect Faces SPF 50 PA++++. It is sun-tested, sun-proven, hypoallergenic, which really doesn't mean much, oil-free, and what else? Very water-resistant. It is this guy right here. It comes in 60 ml and it's so cheap. I couldn't believe how affordable it was. I paid around $6 for this. Of course, prices may vary depending on where you live, but I think this was like the cheapest sunscreen in the drugstore here. So I'm really excited to be trying it out. It is a chemical sunscreen and I personally don't really love chemical sunscreens. It's not my first choice. But I want to change things up on this channel and test out mineral and chemical sunscreens. So the way, if it's your first uh, sunscreen Sunday you're watching, I'll just go through what I will do with this. I will basically apply this on my skin, give you my initial thoughts, then apply my foundation on top of it and my concealer and do the rest of my makeup, give you some thoughts on how it applies with makeup on top of it, and then check in with you guys at noon and uh, around 6 p.m. I will give it a full day wear test so you can make better decision whether you want to buy it or not. All right you guys oh my god I feel like I'm so I feel like I'm a little too excited I haven't had my coffee yet so here we go Okay, so it's got three chemical um, filters, octocrylene, benzophenone 3, and evobenzone. Of course, with any chemical sunscreen, there is a high chance that it might irritate you. And for me personally, they don't irritate my face, but they do irritate my eyes. And that's why usually I prefer to opt for mineral sunscreens rather than chemical ones, or at least a combination of both. And I hope that this one at least has some technology where it doesn't irritate the eyes. This is what it looks like. It's this white liquid lotion. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it on my face. I'm kind of nervous to apply this around my eyes. I'm going to blend it on my face first and then decide whether I want it around my eyes or not. So it's, it actually feels just like any other lotion. It just feels like a regular lotion and it's going on clear, expectedly. It has some fruit extracts, but I don't smell anything. So I believe 
those fruit extracts are there just to like maybe make it sound a little bit more fancy or maybe to mask the fragrance of the product itself I'm not sure but I don't smell anything to me it smells just like a regular sunscreen okay I do want to note one thing it's looking really nice on my face but I, I am feeling a little bit of irritation here not irritation just some weird sensation here around my mouth and the nose area it's looking a little bit shiny which I'm okay with it's not too shiny I'm gonna attempt to put a little bit around my eye area but not very close right now I'm not feeling anything but typically what happens with me is that during the day I end up touching my face and then touching my eyes and I feel that that's how um, the sunscreen transfers to my eyes and that's typically how I get the irritation I don't usually get it from applying it immediately after applying it but let's see I will update you guys throughout the day all right actually I managed to put it quite close to my lash line without feeling any irritation at least at the moment I'm really excited about this product It looks okay so I'm gonna give it 20 minutes to set and I'll be right back all right you guys it has been around 20 minutes now and it's slightly tacky not very tacky just a little bit but on my face I feel like it's looking a little bit shiny so if you have oily skin I'm not sure you're gonna you're gonna enjoy this a little too shiny for me especially here on my cheeks it looks very very shiny not so much on my forehead I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation I'm gonna be using the uh, NARS luminous what is it called natural radiant longwear foundation this is one of my absolute favorite foundations of all time I really like this foundation and I have used it so much this is actually maybe my third or fourth bottle so I know how it behaves on my skin so I typically blend my foundation using a sponge because I'm always worried that a brush is going to disrupt the film that the sunscreen has created on my skin so that's what I'm gonna be doing today got my sponge here I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see better it is going on nicely honestly it feels just like normal it doesn't feel like it's not sticking or it's sitting weirdly on my skin I don't feel any of that it almost looks nicer than usual I'm gonna go ahead and blend the rest of my face and I'll be right back all right you guys first impression it's actually looking very nice almost like it created a nice base for my foundation which I'm really surprised about it didn't shear out my foundation it didn't cling my foundation didn't cling to like dry patches um, and I feel like it's not looking too oily as I expected I still look shiny but I do feel it dimmed down a bit and I quite like that Wow all right I'm gonna go ahead and apply a concealer just to see how it sits around my eyes and I'm gonna be using my trusted Catrice liquid camouflage concealer I use this all the time and I've used it in other sunscreen Sundays 
I'm really, really excited about the sunscreen. Wow. Oh, you guys. That blended out like a dream. Wow. I am really loving how this is looking around my eye area. It almost makes my foundation and concealer look better than they usually do. So I'm not sure if it's because it's a little bit more moisturizing than a regular or I, I don't know really. Wow, I am really impressed. I'm gonna go ahead, put on my full makeup and come back to you guys. But I do want to say that I will apply powder, it's just the way I do my makeup. I typically apply powder with a very light hand just to set things on my face and I do live in a very hot climate so I do want things to stay in place. That's the only reason I use powder but I thought I would let you guys know just so I'm fully transparent with you. See you guys in a few minutes. I completed my makeup and so far no complaints whatsoever. I'll give you a close up. It's sitting really well under my makeup and my problematic area is usually the area around my nose and my forehead and I don't see anything strange in these areas. It's sitting really well around my nose and my forehead. So yeah, no complaints so far. I will check back with you guys at noon and then again at 6 p.m. See you then. Hey guys, I'm back. So it's currently around... 1 p.m. so the foundation the sunscreen has been on my face for around three hours i'm gonna zoom you in so you can have a better look at my skin so the only thing that i had to touch up was my lipstick because i had lunch and it all came off but on my face i haven't touched up i haven't put any powder nothing I want to say that I did notice that my nose is a little too shiny for my liking and that usually doesn't happen. I don't usually get uh, uh, a shiny nose after like three hours of wearing makeup. So I noticed that that's definitely due to the sunscreen and also the area here on my cheeks, not the inner part but rather the outer part, looks a little polka dotty. I'll zoom in so you guys maybe can see. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up, but I do have like white polka dots also here around my nose and just above my upper lip. This is definitely due to the sunscreen, but overall, like if you're far from me and you look at my face, it looks pretty good. And the best part of all of this, which is something that was actually worrying me the most about this sunscreen, since it's chemical, is that it didn't actually uh, burn my eyes, irritate my eyes, give me a headache, none of that. And it's not like I was being careful not to touch my eyes or anything like that. I wasn't being careful, so I'm really happy about that. Hopefully I won't get too shiny by the end of the day, but we've still got around five hours of wear time. My next check-in will... Chicken. My next chicken. My next check-in will be at 6 p.m. So yeah, I will see you guys then. Hey guys, I'm back. I forgot to check in at 6 p.m. It's currently 7.06. So I've had this foundation on now since 10 in the morning, so that means around 9 hours. And I want to say it held up pretty, pretty well. Um, I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see. I hope it's showing up on camera. I'm actually not using any artificial light, only like the lights in my room. But... Okay, I do want to say that in the area here around my mouth, I actually had to go out, so I was wearing a mask. It probably rubbed off on the mask. Yeah, that's why you don't see it here. But the rest of my face, it's actually looking good. My only complaint is that it is a little oily. I do feel that I am too oily for my liking. So that one, that's one thing to note. If you're oily, you're probably not going to like this. 
but if you have dry skin this might actually be a selling point for you it didn't collect around my nose which i actually had a fear it would but it didn't and after i blended out the area here on my pores i don't i don't see those polka dots anymore and they didn't reappear so yeah i really like this uh, sunscreen to be honest except for the part that it's a little too oily for me which is fine because i can always powder throughout the day but for today's video i didn't want to do that so i can give you a full review but besides that i do really like how it looks uh i really enjoyed today's wear test honestly i didn't expect the sunscreen to sit on my skin the way it did i'm really excited to be using it in the future and it didn't cause any eye irritation at all it didn't give me any headache which usually chemical sunscreens do that. That's it for today's Sunscreen Sunday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below which sunscreen you'd like me to review next. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!